All right, for our next match, we're going to have uh, South Sioux City Team 1 versus Creighton Team 1. Uh, South Sioux City, the dominant 3-0 over, over their last match with uh, the Incineroar t uh, Captain Falcon versus who we have next. Uh, for Creighton, we have a Cloud and Lucaria with Tristan Totter and Kyoji Wong. Wong. Both seniors. So yeah, we're going to see how this goes. Uh, if the mains are correct on the on the um the paper then we're gonna have <laughs> sorry yeah. uh means we might have a more interesting match uh considering these aren't gonna be as easily killed as easily comboed light characters uh we might have a way more competitive match but we'll just have to see um, you, with this matchup what do you, what can you compare about it like is this a well-balanced matchup uh, Lucario is a very underplayed character, so I don't know a lot of, too much about him. Uh, he obviously has the aura mechanic where if he gets hit a bunch, he gets uh, stronger, uh, which could be hard to counter against uh, like two very high damaging characters. And Cloud has limit, which if if charged up correctly, he can unleash a super move. And when he has limit, all of his moves appear to run out a lot, a lot faster than usual. Yeah. Also, Cloud being able to swat away Captain Falcon and uh in Incineroar could be very good, uh, not allowing him to get in and have these high damaging combos. We're gonna see what stage is going to first here. Cloud and Lucario are also two characters that have a lot of mobility. Yeah, and both still kind of light, but not too not too light. Not as light as a Kirby or a Sora, for example. Yeah. Uh, just going random stage. Not not sure where they're going. Uh. See if they stake with the with the same teams. It appears they're going as their mains. All right. Uh, good luck to both players. We'll see how this plays out. You can see that the SCC players, they brought uh, Pokemon plushes that you can see on the top left. Yeah, good luck charms almost. Getting great start from uh, from Ew, again, getting out these high damaging combos, but Q, uh, Q is almost doing the exact same thing. I don't know, I've seen like it charging its um, aura sphere charging it. That's like an additional hit stun move. Yeah. So it can be utilized really well. Yeah. Hoagie getting hit with a great Alolan Whip, uh, taking a decent amount of damage. Uh, Lucario, lightest character on this screen, I believe. Um, maybe dying pretty early, but not as early as uh, as the others. Uh, Aura Sphere almost killing Mr. Lonely, but not quite. Oh, oh, and Sid has lost his first talk to an SD. Yeah, missing that up be going to be kind of detrimental, but start game, game one, we'll have to see how it plays out. It's all about us utilizing your character's moveset to their fullest ability here. Great up smash, not killing yet. Oh. Good back With all this however. high damage, Lucario is gathering quite the aura, isn't it? Yeah. Or it could be scary if used correctly. But he's also one or two hits away from kill dying. Just like that stomp from Mr. Lonely. Great stomp. This appears to be a very balanced matchup. Yeah, both players honestly just kind of playing their own 1v1s. Not now, though. Uh, team comboing Mr. Lonely while you has to just kind of set up the sidelines. Good edge guard situation, not gonna get much out of it, but still great to have him pressured in that corner. Now we're setting up a Druggo situation, letting him down for free. One problem that I'm seeing with Mr. Lonely and Ew is they will get started on like these great situations and just kind of let them get back down out of disadvantage for free. They're not punishing them. Yeah. Ooh, and Miss, Mr. Lonely just missed that grab. Good dash attack. Gonna take Cloud down to his last stock. It's actually pretty even match stock wise and damage yeah. wise, if I may say. Yeah. Ooh, got them both in that side B. Yeah, good cross slash there. Tacking on some more extra damage. Looks like Lucario's just about ready to use that Aura Sphere of his. Ooh, Mr. Lonely is on his last stock now. Lucario is still at high damage, and, and so that means he can deal out high damage. Yeah, great neutral B, making sure that uh, Incineroar doesn't keep being a threat to the stage. Ooh. Everybody on their last stock. However, Hoagie being on their first day, 0% is a great uh, a great thing compared to how everybody else is doing. 
Ooh, we're racing we're landing a kill from side view. Right. Ooh, Trot and Erasmo are both at high damage. Yeah. Uh, Hoagie, honestly, just kind of sitting back, doing his Ooh. own thing. Oh, great force palm. Not killing in Sonora's heavy, heavy weight. Good back air, though. Oh. Closing that out. Creighton Prep has the first has the first game. Good back air from Trotty on him. Remember, folks, it's out of five, so they need two more wins to win the set. I have a feeling like that South Sioux City has a few more tricks up their sleeve. Yeah, I do think that they can close this up, uh, considering if they can keep playing how they did last set uh, and just being able to keep that oppressive nature going, they can definitely, definitely turn it around. And going, what stage are going? Oh, Lilat. Lilat Cruz. This is, if, for those of you who don't know, Lilat is hated among these stages. Yeah, uh, Lilat, honestly, kind of just known as, like, the black sheep. Uh, the slants in the dark screen just kind of make it unfun to play on. Uh, Cloud very good on Lilat, though, just because he can uh, pressure both the platforms with his up air very well. Stage, using the stage as the counter pick is quite effective. Not getting that bare cross slash, however, back air doing 13 in its own right. Starting off with that high damage that they're known for, though, very early on. So you can think and keep this Lucario, momentum. I see Lucario trying to get that Incineroar. Yeah, Hoagie honestly just kind of keeps hard focusing on you. Oh! Grab their own, grab their own player. Lonelyn Whip going straight back like that. Not very, uh, not too helpful. Still racking up high damage as they're known for. Ooh. Great back air, ending that stock pretty early. Oh, up smashing their own. I think what like Kyo and Trot's strategy is here is they're trying to make their, uh, make themselves hit each other. Like yeah. The enemy hit each other to gather up more damage. Like just like that. Yeah. It also could just be a thing of miscommunication on the on the part of Hoagie and Trotty on it. Perhaps. Good side B up air. Uh, too high percent to really... Oh, but he missed. Too high percent to really get any meaningful combos out of this at this point. Cloud is still at three stocks. Yeah. He's Man going... managing himself pretty well. Be careful not to get hit. Close game as it was the first game, uh, with Hoagie Trot still in the lead though. Oh, missing that up smash, could have closed that out. Uh, Cloud finally losing its first stock, while well, Mr. Lonely is on his final stock. Okay, like Mr. Lonely is in a bit of trouble here. Sure does. Ooh, a focus or a shot by Yo. All right, good dash attack from Trot, seeing if he can keep uh, Mr. Lonely off stage. Kyo's gathering some really high damage. If he utilizes this correctly. Yeah. Ooh, but Incineroar has a lot of revenge built up. Two glass cannons at this point with such high damage, high power. Ooh, force palm. Almost just erasing him at how high percent he was at. Good get up attack to get around that down smash being charged. Trot, both Trot and Kyo have a, have a sock advantage above Mr. Lonely in the race mode. Yeah, this might be another 3 0, but we'll have to see. Oh, Kyo is down. Not for long. Yeah. All players on their final stock. However, uh, Hoagie and uh, Trot both uh, at 0%. Gonna have to have some big moves, just like that one. Ooh, taking Trot out down. Trot. Definitely winnable. Oh. Uh, if this, if this does come oh, to a... Oh, just saved Captain Falcon from falling into the void. If this does come down to a 1v1 situation, I do think that uh, Hoagie might be able to take this. However, if it keeps going the way it is now, Hoagie might be in some trouble. I wonder how Miss. I wonder how Mr. Lonely and Erasmo are gonna play this one, 1v2. Playing super safe, making sure he doesn't get hit Ooh. by all these. Great up smash though, making the set 1-1. One, one. It's been going to South Sea City. Right. Game three here at this best of five set. We're gonna have to see 
who's going where and doing what and what, 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 what. We're going to have to see if uh, Creighton will get, is going to change up the strategy or choose a different map. This could, this could be either, ga either, per either team's game here, folks. Going a bigger stage, uh, to hopefully not die as early as they were on that last set. Uh, so your town and city happens has like a lot of platforms, meaning like there's a lot of spaces to like run and like build. Up. Yeah, sorry, you're fine. Uh, they uh, also biggest stage blast zone wise, uh, so they have a lot more room to move around. Uh, maybe making this a much slower game. Love to see though. And and Graydon sticking the same. Very dramatic opening here. Yeah, great start from both uh, both teams, honestly. Racking up damage pretty fast. Uh, might be wrong about the, the slow start then, honestly. With how, how well they're playing. They're really just going at it, aren't they? Yeah. Good limit cross good slash. Limit. Doing good damage to you. Oh, edge guarding the Captain Falcon. Oh. Starting up smash, not going to get much out of that. Honestly, kind of losing to some positioning, but not getting too heavily punished for it. Good dash attack. Not closing out these stocks. Finally taking that first one uh, in Cinderor. Taking oh, two stocks there. A double kill by Kyo. Trot is the only one still at three stocks, while everyone else is pretty even. Yep. Oh. Try using a little bit on the race mode. It'd be super effective. Yeah. I do think that uh, instead of playing a more team-oriented game, uh, Toby and Trotter just kind of keep playing a more like one v one centric, just kind of playing their own thing. Uh, while you and Mr. Lonely definitely trying to uh, definitely trying to like team combo much more. Seems like. It seems like Mr. Lonnie and Race Mo are just trying to play catch up. Yeah, at this point. They're so far they're not too Ooh. far behind, but they're so still really far behind. They're both on their last dog. Race Mo's Oh, it's just a race mo left now. Trot is still at three stocks. Kyo with two. You're gonna have to make some big plays to be able to win this one. But it is anything's possible, especially with Incineroar, how he can just close stocks so early. Bowser loses a second stock. The back throw, not gonna kill somehow, on, on Lucario. Ooh. Oh yeah, he got went too oh, deep. He might be dead. Oh, he's still oh, gonna make that back. A team kill by Trot. I haven't seen anyone actually steal a stock today. Yeah, uh, it might just be a matter of like, like them being comfortable in the one v one though. <laughs> Great up smash. Going, making the score 2 1 in the favor of Creighton. Of Creighton. Meaning, if Creighton wins this next match, the set is theirs. I do believe in SSC, uh, SSC though. I do think that they can, if they can continue to adapt the way they did in that second game, they can uh, definitely bring us back. Wouldn't be surprised if we go back to Lila or go back to a smaller stage to where they can. Uh, oh, yeah. it looks like we are. Yeah, going back to a smaller stage where they can kill earlier. Uh, they seem to get worse over time, uh, just not being able to, uh, running out of fuel very quickly, so it's on a stage where you can close out stock so early, it's definitely going to be a better, uh, better strategy. Seeing how this potential last game of the set might go, would not be surprised if we go game 5, however. Mr. Well, Lonely starting with game 5. Uh, honestly, probably back to just a bigger stage like Town or uh, or Battlefield or something. Good juggles from Trot, letting him down with the Falcon Kick. However, Mr. Lonely starting to uh, starting nice to combo juggle. To Mr. Oh, unfortunate SD. Could be detrimental to the, to their entire chances of winning this. We'll just have to see. I think they can pull it back. Great side B. Good back air. Kyo stock taken by race ball. Mr. Lonely still at almost near 70% though on their second stock. If they die too early, uh, they might just steal the stock, but we'll have to see. 
At this point, I I'm pretty sure they're just thinking it would be too risky to steal a stock. Oh! Yeah, especially if they keep getting, like, I'll killed. Race mode down with them. Yeah, especially if they keep getting killed as quickly as they are now. They could just lose the stock uh, instantly. And almost waste it. But we'll have to see. Everybody on their second stock, however, Trot and uh, Raise Mode definitely closer, closer to their uh, first one. <coughs> oh, Trot, Trot just hit Kyo with uh, their the limit break. Yeah, great gameplay so far from Mr. Lonely and uh, and you. Uh, good down there. Ooh, down B, uh, taking the stock of uh, Trotter. Kyo has a ton. Of, Kyo has a ton of damage build. I mean, he can do some pretty intense damage if he manages to stay alive for. for yeah. Oh. All right. Good force match. This is honestly going back to a. Uh, Trot just team killed Kyo. Yeah. Uh, SSC might be going to a game five here if they can continue to play uh, how they are now, taking these stocks at like sub 100. Trot and Kyo are near the same percentage, and it's just a race no, mo. Yeah. Honestly, I could just see, uh, I could see him taking this back considering that it's not such a stock difference. It was 5-1 to one last time. Uh, only 2-1 to one this time, though. He's at such a high percent. Oh, forward smash. And, th and that wins Creighton the game. They, that's their set. Yeah, Creighton winning that 3-1 going into our next set. We'll see how that goes. SEC is going to be sent to the loser's bracket, so we'll catch up with who Creighton will be facing next.